The very first video I put on YouTube on this channel was for the stuff sack of my DIY camping hammock. And that was about two years ago. And I finished the hammock, if you can call anything finished, there's still a few things I'd like to do to it. But I finished it probably a year and a half ago, maybe a year ago. And I still haven't been camping in it, and I just never have time. So tonight, the Misses of All Trades and I decided to do a little stealth camp in our backyard, and I uh, thought I'd share with you how I feel about the, uh, the hammock uh, once I've slept in it overnight. Um, I've slept in it before, but not as a complete system with the, the uh, bug net and the underquilt. So let me show you what I got. So every part of this system I made, uh, the straps, that suspend the hammock or digital camo polyester webbing and I've sewn loops into both ends and what I usually do is hang it with a, a marlin spike knot and I use a carabiner for the marlin spike and that way I can use it uh, in one of the loops uh, if I need extra length and don't have enough length to tie the knot and I've got a uh, Dutch clip up there. Dutch clip or Dutch hook, I can't remember, uh, for both ends. <coughs> the tarp uh, is a silicone impregnated nylon. And I boarded it in the camo grow grain just because I thought that would be fun. The uh, underquilt is an Insultex underquilt. Uh, really lightweight uh, insulation and it's uh, silicone impregnated nylon on the bottom and then uh, just a ripstop nylon on the uh, inside. The hammock itself is a digital camo 1.9 ounce I believe uh, ripstop nylon with the bug net integrated so it can be removed via zippers there are additional zipper heads for entry and egress into the hammock. So there's three zipper heads on this side and then the other side just has one uh, for the removal. The suspension for the hammock is uh, whoopee slings that I made out of Amsteel, uh, which is a specialized kind of rope. You can Google if you want to know more about Amsteel. For insulation inside the hammock, I'm using a Ray Jardine Rayway uh, quilt that I made from a kit. I've used this for a few years now, uh, even before I was hammock camping, and it works really well. Uh, I think my second video on YouTube was making this uh, Ridgeline bag, and I'm still using that. When the tarp's not being used, it gets secured in these uh, no seam mesh snake skins. These are a really easy uh, first time sewing project if you're looking for something to get started with and if you have a tarp uh, it's just a, a cone that you make out of the uh, mesh. Good night! that uh, I slept pretty well and uh, I didn't have any weather to test the uh, tarp or anything but uh, I would say that uh, this project was successful so far. I've sewn a lot of things over the last few years and I still look at this and I'm kind of uh, shocked by what I made myself. It's uh, kind of cool. So. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions or comments, post them in the comments section below. Make sure you click subscribe and give me a like if you like what you're watching. Thanks.